Got another question on the periodicity topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so part A, the definition for first ionization energy is the energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of gaseous atoms. We can't use an equation in this one because it asks for the definition in words. Equation for the second ionization energy of oxygen, so we're starting with the one plus gaseous ion and we're going to the two plus gaseous ion. Next part, we've got to put the missing ionization energies in. So that was the one that was given. So the first ionization energy will be slightly less than that. And then the successive ones up to the sixth one. Remember, these electrons are all in the outer shell. So there's a gradual increase. And then to get the seventh electron out, we've broken into a new shell, close to the nucleus. So there's a jump up in energy. And then obviously that next, the eighth needs to be higher than the seventh. Part C, explaining why the first ionization energy of oxygen is less than that of fluorine. So oxygen's the element before fluorine in the periodic table, so it's got one less proton in its nucleus. The outer electrons experience the same amount of shielding because they're in the same period, and therefore oxygen's outer electrons experience weaker nuclear attraction. Part D, so the electron configuration of the oxygen atom is that. The oxide ion, remember, gains two electrons to get that full outer shell. So we've got that. And why is oxygen typical of a nonmetal? It's because it forms negative ions when it gains those two electrons. Moving on to part E. So we've got to work out the formula of these two ions using the oxidation number and the overall charge. So sulfate four first. So sulfur and oxygen, obviously plus four oxidation number for the sulfur and the overall charge is two minus. So how many oxygens do we need to generate that? It's three. So if we have three O's, minus two each, that would take your total minus charge to minus six. Then combine the plus four for the sulfur, you're left with the charge. So SO3, two minus. Moving on to the chlorate 3 ion now, so chlorine and oxygen again, plus 3 oxidation state for your chlorine, minus charge overall. So if we have 2 oxygens, that'll give us minus 4. When you combine that with the plus 3, you're left with the 1 minus charge, so ClO2 minus. Formula of aluminium nitrate 5, so we've got the formula of the nitrate 5 ion in the table. Aluminium is, forms a 3 plus ion, so it's going to be Al NO3 three times. And the final part of the question, so the name of the base that you could make aluminium nitrate 5 from, so it's either aluminium oxide or aluminium hydroxide, and the acid to generate a nitrate 5 salt will be nitric acid.